but being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. Cardinals are ninth ranked overall. Coming into today's game with a 16-3 conference mark, they are 71 in conference play. Navarro is, has lost four straight coming in. They are 11-8 on the season and four and five in Region 14 conference play. I'm Benny Rogers. I'm joined like always by Tim Howard as I bring Tim in. Tim, this is Highway 31 Rivalry Day. We've got court, the Bulldogs from Corsicana over here in Athens this afternoon. And up the road over in Tyler, we got Kilgore coming down 31 to play Tyler. So I'm officially dubbing it Highway 31 Rivalry Day. I don't think you could go wrong with that, man. Highway 31's got some great uh, energy through the years historically. And as you were mentioning, the, the records, you know, coming into this, yeah, the, the Bulldogs a little bit uh, on the short end. But doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Not today, man. It is all about uh, this historic rivalry between two excellent programs we're, through the years. We're required by the sports gods to give the records, but but it doesn't matter. You're exactly, you're exactly right about that. The Cardinals come in averaging 81.8 points a game, giving up 70.4. Navarro comes in averaging 85.8 and giving up 77.1. But the interesting thing is they're coming off a loss to Tyler at home in which they only scored 48 points, and that's very unnavarro like Yeah, that, that one, uh, it, it kind of will keep – Coach uh, McMillan and, and his team up at night because uh, you, you said it. That's uncharacteristic of them. Uh, as far as the Cardinals are concerned, they're coming off of a road trip to to uh, Wagstaff themselves, where they took care of business against TJC. They did. Time. They came from behind the closing minutes to win that one, six, uh, 67 to 56. And here's the thing about it: the Cardinals had Wednesday off, so they're well rested for this game today. Should be ready to roll. And uh, as they roll, it usually goes through. Number 12, Ahmad Bynum. This is a this is a great rivalry, and it goes all the way back to way back in the day. Yeah. But it's interesting enough, the last 20 games these two teams have played, the Cardinals have won 17 times. That's something, man. They have, like you said, it, it, it's a historic rivalry, but as of late, it's all been Trinity Valley on the on the dominant side. From the 2014 to 15 season up until the first meeting in the 2021 season, the Cardinals won 11 straight, including the Region 14 championship game in 2019 over in uh, Bossier City. Yeah, that's a that, that's a, uh, a notch on the belt there, and they've they've uh, had some great battles through the years, but they want to keep that going, and to do that today, they're going to have to, you know, come out firing on all cylinders. You don't give a team that's kind of in a slump, so to speak, and it's easy to do in Region 14. It's easy to look up, man, we've dropped three straight, four straight. You put them down early. You don't let them get into this thing. Well, think about it for Mark, or Grant McMillan, I'm sorry, in his fifth season as a very head coach, formerly of Panola College, for, had a great run there for about four years before he moved over to Navarro. It's easy to get his squad up after such a tough loss to Tyler at home when you're coming over to Athens to play the Cardinals. It is. It is definitely one of those things that uh, you, you, you see it in their uh, eyes as they come out today. A little extra spark, a little extra energy as they're getting ready. What's kind of interesting about these two teams this year, Tim, is they aren't living by the three-pointers. In the past, we've seen these two teams live by the three-pointers. Navarro's got only a couple of kids in double digits of, of three-pointers, and the Cardinals have three in three-pointers, but neither one are really relying on the three-pointer. They both are capable from three-point range. I was going to say, great word, capable. I mean, they, they can uh, take it if it's there, but they're not reliant upon it. So we'll look forward to that as the Cardinals come in averaging uh, – Right at six point uh, seven point three threes per game. We are going to be expecting a great crowd today, folks. This, this place is filling up. It's Navarro. It's Trinity Valley. And not only that, we've got the Cardinal Regiment on hand, the Cardettes are on hand, the Cardinal Cheers on hand in uniform. It is a typical, going to be a typical Trinity Valley and Navarro basketball game, no doubt about it, as you hear the Cardinal Regiment in the background. Now looking forward to it, man. There's good energy in here and a lot of uh, excitement brewing. This team is so much fun to watch. Here's the thing about it for the Cardinals. I think, I think, in my opinion, Tim, is the keys for today's game. 
They have got to defend, 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 and not let a bear get off to a good start because the bear's coming in with their daubers down having lost four straight, and you don't want to let anything to do to let them feed their mo mo momentum and confidence as you see the keys to the game as we feel like they are on your screen. The Cardinals have dominated the series recently, so winning 17 of the last 20. The, as I mentioned, the Cardinals must defend, 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 and the Bulldogs have lost four straight, so the Cardinals need to get off to a good start, and consequently, on the other hand, the Barrel will be looking to get off to a good start. Yeah, that's one thing that uh, Coach McMillan, you know, has been preaching since Wednesday night. Guys, we don't want to be on the road and be behind uh, at an electric Cardinal gym. And the key in Region 14, we always say it is, you've got to win at home, win at home, win at home, and get what you can on the road. Exactly, and uh, that's that's what uh, Coach... Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, sir. That's what they are preaching long and loud on that uh, Cardinal bench. And head coach Marty Levinson has got his squad uh, playing at a super high level. They have won 10 of 11, and uh, their only blemish during that, that time was to Lee College. And that was a two-point loss uh, in that ball game. So you look forward to what's going to take place you you got to just be prepared and uh, say hey let's like you, Benny just touched on defend home defend home field home court come out take care of business and uh, good things will happen almost set for the starting lineups here we will turn it over to our public address announcer Stephanie Gady who's standing by with uh, this afternoon's starting lineups here on the Cardinal Sports Network. We'll now have the introduction of the national anthem and then the starting lineups Please will be underway here, folks. And this Gentlemen, place is packing in today. It's gonna be a nice, me. energetic crowd. Nice job by the Cardinal Regiment with the National Anthem. Now we'll have the introduction of the starting lineups. Henderson's averaging 7.8 points a game. Bailey's averaging 6.8 points a game. Harrison's averaging 15.1 points and 8.1 rebounds a game. Bulldogs are coached by Grant McMillan in his fifth season at Navarro, having spent four years at Panola before going, coming over to Corsicana. Makai is averaging 11.9 points, 3.6 assists, and he's got 14 three-pointers. Denham's averaging 9.8 points a game. Uh, Ahmad's got 51 three-pointers and he's averaging 17.1 points a game. Devin Franklin's got 19 three-pointers, averaging 7.8 points and 7.2 rebounds. 
And Cissay is averaging 5.7 points a game, 5.7 rebounds a game, and Tim, we've seen him come up big. Yeah. Folks, it is Region 14 Conference Basketball. It is a Saturday afternoon in Athens, Texas. It is Trinity Valley. It is Navarro. It is a high 131 rivalry. And with the play-by-play, -play, it is Tim Howard. Thank you, Benny Rogers, as we're set for this one here, uh, moments away from the tip, uh, if everything goes as uh, well as the pregame introductions. I mean, Mackay Dorsey and his dancing, I thought he had spent some time with you after that, and he looked like, and he's, he's in form, man, We're ready for the first uh, tip of the game, and Franklin got up, but could not control it, it's actually Harrison that uh, taps back, so Wilson, good jab step, not there, so they pulled it back out. Hanging, shooting, but not getting the result. Save underneath by Franklin. Picked up by Johnson. And that's a leap of faith pass right uh, there. <laughs> telling you, had trust in Bynum, who corralled it over on that sideline. Turnover on the Carter. He's lost track of where he was and stepped out of bounds. Cardinals are decked out in their gray, gray suits today. Tim and Navarro decked out in the red. Yeah, indeed, and uh, you're, you, you drew it up perfectly. Just kind of lost himself on that sideline over there. And good pressure by the Bulldogs, but uh, more than anything, just kind of got a little bit off track. Got about three. Bynum almost got a piece of it. It's crowd. Now a three on the way from Henderson is good. Cardell, uh, Colby Henderson for three. And Rivera starts off with a three-pointer when we just said, we said that neither team is living by the three-pointer this season necessarily. Franklin real patient now pulls up, shot not there. Cisse tried to tap it back and on the floor. Johnson kept it alive. Now yeah, there's going to be a they're going to call a foul. foul down low. It's going to be on uh, Mamadou Cisse. Cardinals still looking for their first points. Navarro leads 3-0 on the strength of the three-pointer at the 18-34 mark of the first half. So inbound from the side out here. Bulldogs trying to establish something inside to hit that three outwardly and uh, try to drive now another quick foul oh my goodness two, two now on c so here we go to the bench and place the place by men bay they'll have to uh play a lot of minutes here in this first half you'd think yeah if you're marty levison the first year head coach of the Cardinals, that's not what you wanted to have your big man pick up two fouls inside the first two minutes yeah not even a minute 40 in and uh he's already got two he does have a deep bench though to go to so here come the Bulldogs, driving to the basket, shot short. It's going to be controlled by Wilson. Now the shot and the roll is good. Count the bucket for Smith. Exactly the start you want to get off to your Grant McMillan and the Bulldogs coming in now on the four-game losing streak and having lost at home on Wednesday night. So 5-0 start. Cards trying to get in rhythm here. Driving to the basket. And a blocking foul coming here on the baseline. Can't quite make out the number, but it will be on the Bulldogs. They're going to whistle, I believe. Yeah, that's going to be on uh, Mario Wilson. Wilson. 5'11", sophomore out of Jonesboro, Arkansas. Inbounding to Franklin, down low. And Bay gets him in the air. Easy bucket for the big fella. Shows a little flex as he runs down the floor. Cardinals get their first points at the 17-38 mark. Stolen away. Here come the Cardinals. Quickly out front. Bynum at the front. Going, weaving, and shooting and scoring. Nicely done with the extension. Of course, Bynum transferred in here from out of DePaul. And you can see now why DePaul won't even on their roster. Done. Yeah, that was a great explosive step. Bynum represent Trinity Valley well. 17 points a game. Puts him in the top three in the conference. A lot of contact down low, but boy, oh boy. And it was a, it was a slow whistle, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that there wasn't much movement there. And slow to get up is Henderson. 
Man of man. So Henderson will have to step up and knock down a couple free throws. Third team foul. All of them coming from the bigs of Trinity Valley so far. Well, Navarro's attacking the go there. Yeah, going going hard to the basket. So they'll go to the free throw line here, trying to add to a one-point advantage here. Navarro shooting 72.2 from the free throw line this season. That one is good. So his fourth point of six. Trying to add to another here is Henderson. Gets it to go. Navarro jumping out in some backcourt press here. Down low, the big man. Nice move up and good. Bay with another bucket. He's got four off the bench. Great start for him. Missed everything. Johnson pulls it down, gets it out front. Bynum pulls up for three, not there. And Bay with the rebound, keeps his footing, can't get it to go. Boy, they had a good sh shot at it there. Another foul down low on the car. This on uh, Devin. So Franklin uh, will pick up his first foul. Fourteen foul. Fourteen foul. You're right. There would be a lot of free throw shot at this rate. Man, I'm telling you, three and a half minutes gone by. And already four team fouls against the Cardinals. This was calling it close very early on. That three on three out front. Spin move in the paint. Uh, going up, trying to finish, but missed it was Henderson. Here come the cards. Very impressive spin move, though. Oh, Franklin was flashed to the basket. Now swings around to three. Bynum on the left wing. Johnson in the paint, jump stop, finger roll, left short. Couple of trips now, the Cardinals are missing point blank range. Now they've had opportunities here in this uh, opening five minutes of play. Three on the way, rattles at home. That's a big three for Bailey. Cards were looking to take the lead on their next possession. Now it's a four-point advantage. Two three-pointers now for the Bulldogs here in this first quarter. Johnson going left. Jump stop. Shot. Not there. Rebound taken by Bailey. Rivera Stolen Bailey by Franklin. Forward. Here come the cards. Kai. Pass off underneath Bynum. Balancing. Shooting and scoring. Count the basket. Chance for a three-point play coming up here at the line after the foul on the baseline. Phil March, Lucia Say, and Gary Nichols will check into the game for the Cardinals after we have this media timeout. Got a quick break. We'll come back with more after this on the Cardinals Sports Network. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. And welcome back. Cardinal Sports Network here inside 15 minutes ago in the first half. Good start for Navarro. Absolutely a good start for the Bulldogs. And you know they wanted to get off that good start because we mentioned they'd lost four straight coming into this one. And uh, you want some good things to happen early on or you get your, keep your daubers down. The Cardinals are doing a good job of battling and hanging in there, though. This interesting lineup that Marty Levis has got on the floor now. There's a lot of outside shooting prowess in that group right there. Yeah, just uh, checking into the ballgame here will be Knuckles, March, and Cisse, uh, along with Bynum and Mbay for the Cardinals on the floor. 
completing the three-point play, so it's a one-point game here, and the Cardinals bring out some pressure. Ahmad now with five points in the game. Pass underneath, blocked at the bucket. The putback, though, is good by Henderson. He's nice job of Henderson of closing the gap. Yeah, Henderson's got seven of the 12, so he's shown up big here in the opening moments of this one. Garrett with the ball. That's the screen, Bynum, head down, up top. Excuse me, the wing. Baseline shot from Cisse, missing Ooh. everything. Wide open look, to hit, miss everything. Bynum playing the ball. Three from the top of the key, not there, and they will pull it down. Been impressed by him in this uh, first about five minutes for him. Cardinals have managed to get some good looks here early on, Tim, just haven't converted a lot of them. See what they do here on this possession at the 14 minute mark of the first half. March away from the ball. It's a uh, offensive foul called here. It's going to be a second foul on M. Bay. So now here comes Bayou. <laughs> <laughs> we said he had a deep bench. He's going to prove it today. I was going to say, you, you get a chance to prove that right here. Still 14 minutes uh, roughly left in the first half. You've got your two big guys. In foul trouble. Cardinals, we're going to certainly hope that the fouls, fouls even out by the time it's over with. They usually have a tendency to do, and it's always amazing how it happens usually out of a timeout. Whoops, it's 17 to 2. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a uh, setup around the top. Good ball movement from the dogs. Cardinals. Playing tough man-to-man. -to -man. In the paint, sheds the defender. Shot not there. The rebound is controlled by Bayou. Bayou just took it away. Boy, that was a great athletic move by him. Looked like Bulldogs had possession. They do have possession now, and then lost it out of bounds. It's going to be Cardinal basketball. It goes off the hands of uh, Jordan Granberry. Granberry, a sophomore out of Fort Worth. Lost the handles of it. Had quite a few turnovers thus far by both teams in this early on stages. So Bynum his way to march and now Cisse on the push. Knuckles for three. Not there. Hit everything but the go. It took a long, uh, a very high bounce over the backboard. So inbound and here comes pressure from the Cardinals. 13 minutes to go here in the first half of play from Cardinal Jim in Athens, Texas. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. A good one going here in Region 14 in the early moments. The screen out top, shot over, but no good. Fight for the ball on the floor, controlled eventually by Bynum, gets it out to Knuckles. Converted did a great job of getting back. Bynum pulls up for three, knocks it down, and we're tied. He gets going from there, Tim. Carter's been in good shape today. Telling you, he's got eight of the 12, so a couple of of uh, players carrying their team. Henderson for the Bulldogs and uh, Bynum for the Cards. Count the basket, they're going to call offensive goal, Teddy. Didn't matter. <laughs> he didn't. Yeah. It, Cardinals uh, down by two. Back and forth we go here, man. It's been fun one early going, and no surprise there. It has been, and it, like I said, this is an, a different top lineup that uh, Marty Levis has on the floor. Of course, a lot of us out of foul, foul trouble with those two big men, Cissé and uh, Mimbe. Good drive, had him blocked. Good hands underneath by Lorick. Three-point shot, no good. A Touched by the Cardinals, out of bounds. See, Navarro's got a very strong team as far as when he comes to crashing the boards. It looks like the Cardinals have position, and all of a sudden there's a Navarro player that appears and gets a piece of the ball. Very, very strong athletic group. No media timeout here at the 11.45 mark. We'll take a quick timeout. We've got more coming up after this. Region 14 action here on the Cardinals Sports Network. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy. 
and protect joints and growing bones. For this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital. Our crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich can make you feel a lot of things. The spicy one can make you feel, what's the word? Tingly? Yeah, tingly. McDonald's Spicy Crispy Chicken Sandwich. Order ahead on the app. And welcome back to Leon Spencer Court and Historic Cardinal Gym, where we are 11.45 into, well, not 11.45 into, but there's 11.45 remaining in the first, first half with Navarro up 14-12 in a typical Navarro Trinity Valley game, just back and forth, back and forth. Blue collar type game. Both teams are working hard, Tim. Uh, exactly. Not as hard as me trying to figure out how much time's left in the. Uh, <laughs> that's one of my eight fifteen officially. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> Very good, Tim. I can put my shoes back on. Now. <laughs> back to action here. It's a, a two point advantage for the Bulldogs. Shot over the top. Not there. Good rebound. Great clear out by uh, Bynum or Bayou. Sorry. He had a great position on that play and, and made the most of it, too. I think that's one of the things they talk about in that huddle is, hey, guys, we can't get out rebounded by these guys. we got to be in possession, in position, and then finalize it, fulfill it. They're very doing a great job defending. Ten on the clock, driving, march all the way to the bucket. Got it knocked away. Here come the Bulldogs going up strong and met at the goal. My Shake. goodness, what a block. Shaking his head, Bayer saying, you don't come at me, I'm going to meet you. <laughs> I love it, man. Good sportsmanship. Both of them nodding like, there's some athleticism on display right there. Wow, was there ever. Both of them going well above the rim. Throw in, and it will be kept alive. Still 20-plus on the shot clock, so Bulldogs got a lot of time here to work with. Attacking Bynum right on it and an offensive foul. They will get uh, Granberry. Granberry. Nice Bynum coming as a spotting the overmatch that they had. Yeah, he attacked as soon as that ball bounced away. He was on him like a cat and uh, jumped right on top of him. And the official caught him with the, the little uh, shoulder shrug there that tried to separate. So, Carter made to convert though. Chance to take the lead with a three or tie it with a bucket. Bayou. Back to Knuckles. Inside 10 seconds on the clock. March. Baseline jumper is good. Tie ball game. I swear I feel March hung in the air for about five seconds while he put that got that shot off. He said, let the defender go all the way down and then <laughs> I'll let her go. That was great, uh, great move there from one of, the, one of the largest crowds we've had this season, Tim, here today. It's a fun one, too. Good good crowd into the ball game. They're getting quite the treat here in the early going. Over the top, the shot is no good. Bynum kept it alive. Got it through. March putting on the handles. Drive Franklin going strong and out of bounds off of the Bulldogs. Tied at 14 to the 9.51 mark here in the first half. So with inside 10 minutes to go here it will be Bynum taking a quick seat neither team playing at the clip which they're scoring this year Navarro 85.8 and the Cardinals 81.8 but you don't care as long as you get out here with the W what your score is yeah and you you know that uh, defense will be a priority and knuckles for three from the baseline it's good from the side oh. pocket that's actually going to be a two they said toe on the line pointed at at the line and had the two out so a timeout 30-second timeout here. Coach Grant McMillan will talk it over with his squad. We'll that's keep Cardinals it first here. lead of the game, Tim, at the 9.33 mark. Yeah, it's a big one there. 9.33 to go. It's a two-point advantage. Love the uh, confidence that Knuckles shot that ball with. Oh, no question. That's why he was brought here to the college, because he's got that outside shot. He, we, he made a living in his high school career, both at La Corner and Bullard High School. So the Cardinals are very excited to get the young man signed because he's son of a, his dad's his coach, because his coach. Anytime you get a coach's kid playing for you, you've got somebody that you know has got number one discipline and knows the game. Exactly. And uh, you, you can see it there, found the spot and uh, elevated, knocked it down. Just missed a three pointer just by having that toe on the line. So two point ball game here. Trinity Valley taking the lead for the first time 
And as you get a chance to look at some of the highlights uh, from a few moments ago, look at him, Bay, and his prowess down low. He uses his body so well. He really is. Tim, the Cardinals will be on the road Wednesday night going to Kilgore for a 7 o'clock game. And get this, here's a weird part of the schedule in Region 14. The Kilgore women are here at Cardinal Gym to play the Lady Cardinals in a 5.30 tip-off. <laughs> what is wrong with this picture, folks? I, I'm, I'm thinking that there's uh, some, some definitely uh, some, some, some kind of a uh, problem that you can work into some curriculum with that. Back to action. Two-point ball game. TVCC up by two. Navarro, nice move at inside and a whistle. Two free throws coming here, and the foul is going to be called on. It's going to be on um, Bay. Marty Davis is trying to say that it was not a shooting foul. First free throw is good for Trey Clayton. That's his first points in the contest. I guess first point would be correct, not first points. 921 to go here. Opening half. Goes one of two at the stripe. So cards maintain the lead. Try to add to it on this position. Devin Franklin pulled the rebound for the Cardinals. Okay, Dorsey surveys, now goes baseline strong, and gets the left-hander off the glass. Makai's first point of the contest, and that is his game, folks, attacking the goal like that off the dribble. He's so quick. Got a chance to see him in action there. Close out on the baseline, three-point shot, not there. Dorsey with a rebound. Dorsey got position in midair. And Henderson, I believe, will be whistled here. Colby Henderson's gonna pick up the foul. Fourth team foul against the uh, Bulldogs. First against Henderson. So inside nine minutes to go. Six four on the foul, team foul situation. Carters with their biggest lead of the contest, 18-15. On the floor right now, you got Bayou, Knuckles, uh, Franklin, March, and Dorsey with the ball. Denham Johnson preparing to check in for the Cardinals. Down low, fadeaway shot on the way, not there, but Franklin hustling and gets aboard. He'll shoot from the baseline. Yes, good. sir. That's the way you play ball right there, Devin Franklin. Franklin hustling, getting to the loose ball, then puts it through and executes with a nice baseline jumper. The former North Thorny Falcon. Good pass underneath. Wow. Henderson seems to be able to just be a ball magnet, man. They find him, and <laughs> rightfully so. He's... He's carrying them right now, seven points. Gonna have a chance to add to it at the strike. Pretty efficient at drawing the foul, too. Sophomore, a 6'4 sophomore out of Dallas at the free throw line. 20 to 15 Cardinals, 8.15 to go here in the first half. That's good. Johnson comes in and uh, back into the contest is Bynum as well. So Knuckles and March will both take a seat. Henderson now with eight points in the contest. And it'll stay at eight. Two. Well, they've, they've left a couple of them here in the last opportunities. Four point lead. Good strong move. Going to get him picking up that foot. Going to be a turnover. Bayou are will have that pivot foot move on it. So Navarro has a chance here to get back in it. Three-pointer would do great. Bucket will pull him within a bucket. That's what they do. Grass knocked it away. Great hands from Dorsey. Nice job on Makai Dorsey seeing that he had a double-team situation where he could play down on the, on the ball. Yeah, great, great hustle. Now a uh, stoppage of play, and we will have a timeout on the floor. So we'll step away more after this here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher-to-student ratio of 1 to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. 
We teach. We strive. We succeed. TVCC. It makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. And welcome back. Region 14 action this afternoon as the Cardinals and Bulldogs are going at it here. You get a chance to see the uh, highly acclaimed Cardinal cheer. Man, yeah, they were in Daytona Beach in April trying to win another national title. Good luck to them. Boy, they are so much fun to watch. They get this crowd into the game as well. And there's been plenty to cheer about for both sides. A good start for both teams. It's, it's been a good game thus far. It's been a blue-collar type game. Both teams are working hard, as we've said a couple of times. And uh, the Barrow's making it pay at the free throw line here as of late. So to inbound underneath, it will be at Navarro. Cards on defense here. They have 14 on the shot clock. So see how they attack it here. And a man deep for Trinity Valley. Protecting the shot was Franklin Abayu underneath. Bayou again. He's had a couple of nice blocks here in the first. He, he, he has. And Antonio Lark, uh, Antoine Lark, I should say, has does a great job of getting on the board for the Bulldogs. Well, I tell you, going back to uh, the first block he had at the rim, I believe it was he and Harrison that met up there. I'm not a thousand percent sure, but. The Cardinals went to sleep on the inbounds there. Yeah, that was way too easy there. Got him up in the air and just waited him out. So, back to a two-point contest. I think we might have get, well, get settled in for it's going to be back and forth the rest of the way. Yeah, you, you get that vibe for sure. Franklin working for position. Dorsey pulls up for three. Not there. It's rebounded by Warwick. Chance for the Bulldogs. Stepped out of bounds on the far sideline, so there's a turnover on the bar. We've seen that called more and more this year, haven't we, when the players, the shooters have lost track of where they're at on the floor. Yeah, you make a good point because it it has happened quite a bit. Inbound to Johnson. Here comes Trinity Valley at the seven-minute mark left here in the first half. Johnson all the way to the basket. In trouble now finds Franklin. Plenty of time on the shot clock. He travels. Levin's going to get called for steps. Marty Levinson wants a uh, time, 30 second timeout. He's not happy right now with his squad. Going to talk it over with his team here with 6.48 to go. In I the need first to cue, cue the band up here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you might want to this place. You know, we better take a break ourselves. <laughs> uh, we'll step away. More coming up after this here on the Cardinals Sports Network. No one ever said you need to be sick to get better. That's why at Baylor Scott & White, we're innovating how people get well and stay that way. Where prevention Last might one. just be the prescription. Way to work. Teaching is on the treatment plan. That's what I'll do. I'll and everyone is always on the same team. Yours. Baylor Scott & White Health. Changing healthcare for the better. We're coming out of a timeout that thankfully we went to. <laughs> <laughs> the Cardinals are in their huddle, and it's a real tight huddle right now, and they're not exchanging pleasantries, I don't think, in there, folks. No, actually, I, I joke a little bit. Marty's just getting across his point, yeah. which coaches have to do sometimes. But we are 2018 Cardinals with the 648 left in the first half. I'm Benny Rogers along with Tim Howard. You're watching Cardinal basketball on the Cardinal Sports Network on this Highway 31 rivalry Saturday with the Cardinals taking on the Bulldogs. And the, uh, Tyler and Kilgore playing at Wagstaff Gymnasium as we speak. Man, there's some great hoops going on all over Region 14. Always is, uh, especially today. So two-point advantage for Trinity Valley with 6.45 to go here in the first half. Let's check back in here momentarily. It's going to be uh, Cisse. Shot won't go, but the rebound is pulled down and put back in. Trey Clayton. By Clayton. Johnson. Excuse me. Bayou. Bynum. Working it around. Dorsey splitting defenders, hanging, shooting, and scoring. Nice take. And he lost his balance as he was going up, Tim, and had to readjust the ball in his hand and still got it to fall. Man, that is a great, great uh, ball control shot. Franklin tips it away. Dorsey out front. A couple of cards calling for it. Johnson with the flush. 
I'm telling you right now, Devin Franklin doesn't get enough credit for how much of a role player he is for this Cardinal basketball team, but he does the little things extremely well. Yeah, that all started with number 21. Devin Franklin got it out quickly, and uh, the Cards were off to the races. Down low on the baseline, they find Bailey. Now up top, back over to Bailey. Ooh, got away with an elbow to the chops. <laughs> So here come the cards and... Yeah, Bowden tried to make a long pass cross court to Devin Franklin, but the Bulldogs weren't buying that. Did the ball just go out of bounds off of the we call it Bulldogs, though, and the possession will stay with the Cardinals. Franklin will take a seat into the contest. Here comes Cisa. With, so, two, with two personal fouls. Yeah, so he's got to be... A, He's got to be careful, but he's also going to be very well rested uh, <laughs> after only playing about a minute and a half. 18-21, he went out. Ooh. Denham Johnson trying to establish. Pulls up at the free throw line. Not there. Got to knock that down. The defender was two feet off of him. And going up, putting it off the glass and in. It's a two-point game. Stop me if you've heard that. Knocking West with the follow-up for the Bulldogs. Five minutes to go. First half of play. Cardinals up by two. Dorsey. Work. Boy, look like he got a piece of him. But going around and gets the dunk that time. Cardell Bailey and with the steal in the slam. Ties it up at 24-24 at the 4.50 mark here in the first half. Bailey's going to be, uh, I think, either get a warning or a tech. Technical foul coming here on Cardell Bailey. Not sure what he said, but it, uh, it was... Uh, Definitely drew the attention of the official. He made that call with authority, did he not? Yeah, he did. So at the free throw line, Bynum, he's shooting 70% on the year. First one is good, and now... One more to go, and if next says he'll be in double digits with 10 points for the Cardinals. So with that, I mean, you, you got all the momentum there. Get a big play. You get the Cardinals two free throws, take take the lead back, and now the Cardinals have the ball. Yeah, you just gave it away is what you did. You gotta, yeah. you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be, play within yourself. Have some discipline. That's right. It is a very emotional game though, and I can tell why he was really excited about it. But yeah, he definitely got, got the attention of the official, <laughs> whatever he said. Two-point game, cards with possession. Well, that was an unsportsmanlike technical foul, too, so he doesn't want to pick up another one of those. Exactly. Got to be a, be very aware, too, and he'll be ejected. Out front, Bynum set up. Henderson, jump stop, in the paint, shot, won't go. She say had it knocked away. Quickly down the floor, West. Knocked away, picked up by Johnson. Here comes Denham out front to Bynum, throws it up. Oh, and... Not there, but the putback is good. I believe that's Johnson. Denham Johnson with his fourth point. Denham never uh, gave up on the play, and he is the benefactor down the stretch. He had a warning quiet, delay a game warning for quiet. Cardinals, in other words. So 4-12 to go here, four-point ball game. Tim, we've reached that point of the first half where we already start talking about momentum going into the locker room. In the last five minutes is where you try to steal that momentum. Exactly. Alley up the other way. Met at the goal, at the uh, goal, and knocked out of bounds. Oh, we're going to talk about this. Going to try and get some help. The official comes across and says, "Yeah, I, I've got a pretty good good job of it. officiating there. Really good job. That's 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 a great move. Good teamwork there from the official. So four point game, chance to build. Four seat brings it up the floor. Carters are, running, are going to run elbow here." Pull up three, not there. Have to see another three on the other end, not there. Bynum up the floor, pushing, passing off. One more pass underneath the reverse. Oh, oh my goodness. That is a great pass from Cisse, but an even better shot with the reverse layup underneath. Defender on this side of the ghost. I'll just move across the lane. Thank you. Easy adjustment. Get him into our uh, scores table here. Chance for the Cardinals going on a run here to close the half. Up six and a foul coming here on Colby Henderson. 
great hustle there from Denham Johnson, and uh, it triggered that down the, the floor here, just getting up and down the floor. Trinity probably Valley. a good timeout by Navarro, too, because he Grant probably feels a run coming on by the Cardinals as they start got that look in their eye now. They're getting up and down the floor. Yeah, six-point advantage for Trinity Valley with 3.13 to go. Quick timeout. More after this on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome back to Leon's Richard Court at Historic Cardinal Gym. The Cardinals are up 30 to 24. Navarro with a timeout of 313. Mark Timmons, who's talking as we went to commercial. Grant McMillan probably sensed the Cardinal run might be on in progress. I, I think you're right. You, you got a chance to see a little bit of that explosiveness of Trinity Valley, and, and they'd like nothing better to do than to run away and hide here going into the half. Seen a lot of great games between the Bulldogs and the, and the Cardinals through the years, and this may come out, turn out to be one of those two, Tim. It has, it has that feel that it may come down to the final seconds of this contest. Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more, and uh, that was a great timeout executed there by Coach McMillan. Couldn't help but notice on the monitor that uh, reverse layup there from Denham Johnson just a couple of moments ago when he started out on the right side of the lane, goes all the way across, and then gets the reverse on the left side. Just, and we see that regularly. Yeah, great ball. athleticism, no doubt. Squad is loaded. Six-point advantage, Trinity Valley, 3.05 to go. Pull-up shot, not there by Bynum or Bayou. Such, such a good look to miss. So you say having to be very careful out there with two fouls. And so good on him for not getting out of position. Knocked away. March out front to Bynum. Knocked it away, or we were about to see some thunder <laughs> from above. The lightning was out in front, but the thunder, man, that was crazy. Chance for the Cardinals to build on this seven, six point lead. Yeah. Bynum is, uh, mentioned, hit 70% free throw line. These would be big here. They would be. You want to set yourself up in great position going into the halftime locker room. Ooh, Gets got, the roll. Got the crier. You'll take it. 11 points now for Ahmad. And as, as you think about it, I mean, Trinity Valley came out, got in early foul trouble, and they've been able to correct that and work around that. So up seven here inside three minutes to go. You're, you're in a lot better position than 20 minutes ago. Knocked away. It's going to be tracked down by March. Cardinal Deacon's doing a great job of just getting enough of the ball to get a turnover. Bayou. Well, now going to draw two defenders. They'll set up still 10 on the clock. Dorsey, the first screen, five on the clock, trying to free himself, good defense, step back with three, not there, tracked down by Warwick, alley-oop, and a finish, completed, Bailey with a dunk, a good pass there from Warwick, and good court awareness, credit to the Nero defense that in there, Tim, they had every, every pass, passing lane field. Yeah, that, that was great defense there, and that was a big possession defensively for them. Four points the other way. March thought about three now. Up top, here's the shot from Cisse. Out there. I'm sure we want the big man out there taking those shots. Inside 90 seconds to go. Bailey. Shot to Lorick. A pass to Lorick. Lorick with the bucket. The bear clawing his way back into this for the half. We talked about finishing halves, and uh, Navarro is doing the finishing here. They're back into this thing, down three with a minute five to go. Cardinals had two bad possessions the last two times they had the ball. A lot of dribbling, pulls up the three. That's <laughs> a big answer. Good shot there. 
from Ahmad Bynum. They needed that. His second three-pointer of the contest, and he's 53rd on the season. So it gives the Cardinals a six-point lead, but like you talked about, way off the spring mark. Caught up there, last touched by, by the, Bulldogs. the Bulldogs. I believe that was off of Lorick. So Cards will have a possession here. Up six with 43.6 to go. Can't uh, hold for one shot here. That's not very much in the Cardinals vocabulary anyway. <laughs> <laughs> shot on the way, rattles off, and no good. Cardinals should get one more possession. They were trying to get that two for one there. Navarro's going to play it down now, though, and try to limit the Cardinals from not having enough time to get off an effective shot. Very good strategy here. You're at a six-point game. Do the Cardinals you want to defend the perimeter here, not to give up a three-pointer? Lorick with possession. Antoine Lorick stolen by Franklin again. Oh, oh Franklin. gave it back. Here's a three on the way. That's a big one with four seconds to go. Cards back up to, well, he had had a little less time than you'd want there. A big three to end it, 34-31. Cardinals up by three, but boy, they let a little bit of an opportunity slip there. They absolutely did. The mod bottom led the Cardinals in the first half with 14 points. He's the only Cardinal in double digits, but the Cardinals did just give up a little momentum there, I think. Navarro goes in, no, they cut the lead in half on one shot on their third three-pointer made of the first half. You're watching Cardinal Sports Network on the Cardinal Sports Network. We are at halftime, 34-31 Cardinals. We'll be back, folks. Welcome to Trinity Valley Community College, home of the mighty Cardinals, offering hands-on education with an average teacher to student ratio of one to 20 at a third of the price of regional institutions. We teach, we strive, we succeed. TVCC, it makes sense. Apply today at tvcc.edu. A quality, affordable education is not out of reach. In fact, it's closer and more convenient than you might think. Trinity Valley Community College, with locations in Athens, Palestine, Terrell, and Kaufman, offers day and evening courses, online courses, and provides dual credit classes for high school students. TVCC is also home to several national championship sports programs. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. And there you have it, McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich from the makers of the world's most stolen fries. The juicy chicken sandwich from the place that offers extra napkins for a reason. The tender chicken sandwich from the creators of a sandwich phenomenon. So you won't just be biting into a chicken sandwich, you'll be biting into McDonald's new crispy, juicy, tender chicken sandwich. Ba -da -ba -ba. Sometimes managing your health and keeping track of all the details can feel a little overwhelming. But UT Health East Texas Virtual Care makes it easy to stay connected with your health care. You can message your doctor, see test results, pay your bills on time, and even request on-demand video visits to be seen right away from the comfort of your own home. All through your smartphone, tablet, or computer, from virtually anywhere. Less stress, more living. Prosperity Bank offers free checking. Let's take a look. No monthly maintenance fee? Check. No individual check fees? Check. Free debit card? Check. Unlimited withdrawals? Check. Free online banking? Check. Easy access and friendly service? Check. Close to home? Check. Simply free checking from Prosperity Bank is simply free. I'm taking these checks to the bank. Prosperity is the big bank with your community's bank inside. Prosperity Bank, where you find real bankers, not just a bank. Shadow. 
Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Looking good. Nailed it. Order make delivery in the app. Your team leaves everything on the field. They play with heart and with their mind. But being smart starts long before the kickoff. With the latest technology, sports medicine advancements, expert physicians, we can keep your team healthy and protect joints and growing bones for this big moment and their future on any field. Physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital. From a work perspective, what am I most thankful for? I'm thankful for working with a great team. I'm thankful for working for a company that's faith-based, and I'm truly thankful to be able to take time to pray with my patients if they need it. Having a good team to work with, and a great, all, all my supplies are there. I got equipment if I need it, and it helps at a phone call away if I need that as well. I've never had a time where I didn't feel like that. I couldn't get what I needed to do my job. We work together as a team here at Baylor, and I really appreciate that. I'm thankful that I have the ability to work the physical ability, the mental ability. I think every day that I walk into the pharmacy, everybody greets me as soon as I walk in the door. And it's a small gesture, but it goes a long way and it starts your day off right. I do feel like I'm fulfilling my calling, even if it's, you know, the last job that I have. I'm thankful for God leading me here to work. I feel like I am growing into a much better nurse and I've been a nurse for a long time. When I go home at the end of each shift, whether I had a bad day or a good day, I'm ready to come back to work the next morning. And I know a lot of nurses, unfortunately, don't get to feel that way about their job, but this is how we feel here. And it's not just me, it's everybody around me. My team, they welcome me and respect me, my differences, my culture, and I don't feel isolated when I'm with them. They welcome my ideas, you know, they're always there for me. We see people, a lot of brokenness, you know, physical, emotional, come through rehab, um, but just walk, just walking beside them in this and being able to help them get better to see the outcomes of it is just, it's really rewarding. I mean, I'm so grateful for Baylor, really. I love it here. Baylor's a very good place to work for. It's different. I've worked at other larger hospitals and I would never go anywhere else. I'm thankful for what I do. I'm thankful for the patients that we take care of. Uh, I'm thankful for my calling, my ministry, you know, is helping those who can't help themselves, being there for them. So I'm, I'm thankful for all that I can do for someone else who can't do for themselves. I was a runner. I was up to running three miles a day every morning. When I was diagnosed with lung cancer, I was shocked because I'm not a smoker. Baylor, Scott and White, the facility, the staff, everyone has been so amazing. I love, love the fact that I can breathe. When I first heard that I had cancer, I was referred to Baylor Scott and White immediately. It was really important for me to be able to get my chemotherapy and everything here because I wanted to be close to my friends, my family. They were so confident and made me feel at ease and supported me. I felt like I was their only patient and I knew they had several people that they were dealing with, but I was the most important person. I had like a week of headaches. Throughout that week, I went to my local hospital. They referred me to Baylor Scott & White. They gave me an MRI. The tumor that was inside of my head was cancer. Baylor Scott & White has given me this new technology that helps decrease the growth rate of my cancer cells. The doctor I have right now, he's just amazing. It's a great feeling to know the guy who's taking care of me actually really cares about me. Baylor Scott & White Health, changing cancer care for life.
Wet week here in Athens and Henderson County. We've had rain just about every day. I think we've had six inches in the first four days of the week. It's drizzled a little bit today, but we're supposed to get see some sunshine tomorrow. Hopefully that will be the case. Uh, what, a, what a turnaround we had there in the final seconds of the first half, though, Tim. The Cardinals up six, got a steal, threw the ball away, and set Navarro up for a three-pointer near the near the buzzer and cut the lead in half. And Navarro has to feel pretty good coming out of the halftime locker room. Yeah, prior to that steal, they had made a little run to close it out and got within you know, six, and you thought they were going to get it even closer, and, and they would eventually, but uh, in hindsight, you know, you want to still hold on to that thing and then hold for a final shot. But, uh, hey, live and learn. The good news, cards up three, and uh, trying to to keep that uh, that position still hot. They, they come in winning 10 of 11. The only loss was to Lee, and that was by two, but a uh, long way to go in this one. Yeah, the Cards were led by Mod Bynum in the first half of 14. He had two three-pointers, and I misspoke when I said that he had now had 53 on the season. He's now got 60 on the season. Man, and that's my, a good. My one, I read my one as being an eight, or eight being a one. Well, I, you know, I've tried reading that uh, hand, that penmanship for some time now, and I'm, <laughs> I, I don't know how you do it, Dr. <laughs> Rogers, but... Uh, <laughs> No, do I. <laughs> back, back to this, though. You know, Bynum, we, we said he's averaging 17 a game. It puts him in the top echelon of Region 14. He's the number three scorer. He does. So up. And we saw Ahmad go through a little shooting slump there about three or four games ago. When he About two or three straight games, his shots just wouldn't fall. Yeah. He stayed with his shot, though, and the Cardinals did a good job of getting some good looks. And the shots are starting to fall again. Yeah, they are. And that's uh, good news for the Cardinals because... Uh, like we said, man, when, when he's going well, usually the Cardinals are going well. So uh, good good first half for him. Love to see them able to get, uh, you know, their big guys back into the flow of things because that was one thing that really kind of hampered things in the early going. They got well, they foul the, trouble early. The quick foul trouble, you're right, because we saw Cissé pick up his second foul at the 18-21 mark, and he stayed out until about six minutes left in the first half. Yes, indeed. And then Embe's got two. He picked up his second foul uh, about five minutes later, but not before he put his fingerprints all over the first half. He's had a first, a uh, very productive moment. But this game is going exactly like you probably thought it would go. It's 34-31. It's close. It's nip and tuck, and it's going to be that way probably down the stretch. The question is, can one team find just enough of a surge, maybe a six or seven point surge, to prove to be the difference in the end? It, it very well could come down to that, and uh, you know we'll, we'll look to see who comes out with that offensive power to start the second half, because you know, you can you can build a lot of momentum and uh, draw off of the reserve of, of the energy level from the other team, the opposing team, whoever is on the short side of that. So it'll be important to start off the second half very strong. We said Navarro had lost four straight coming in. They lost to Lee 70 to 63, Angelina 71 to 48, Panola 84 to 67, and Tyler 52 to 48. And I'm telling you, you don't see that 48 points scored very often by Navarro, although in that four-game losing streak, we've seen him score 48 twice, but they're on a much better pace than this one, having 31 in the first half. Yeah, I've been impressed by Henderson, Colby Henderson. Uh, he's got eight points, and then Bailey finished the half strong. He's got seven. So uh, we'll keep an eye on him. Lorick has got six. And both teams are playing with a lot of energy. I've, I've been glad to see that. And of course, the Cardinals had the week off. This is their first game in a week, week's time. It's interesting. Both teams' last games were against Tyler. The Cardinals winning 67-56, and the Bulldogs losing 52-48 at home. That Tyler game was in Tyler. And with the second half call, there's Tim Howard. Thank you, Benny Rogers. Uh, good crowd on hand. And, well, they've enjoyed this first half. and should be a dandy to finish it out. Cardinals will have possession as we start the second half. It's Dorsey bringing it up the floor. Franklin, nice pass. Bynum, reverse and finish. Great reverse led by Maude Bynum with a fish off from Devin Franklin. Franklin with the assist, and that was just way too easy. Great play drawn up and good execution from the Cardinals. Dish underneath, nicely done. Harrison will pick up a bucket. Navarro College with the answer. Harrison with his first points of the afternoon. And uh, that was well designed as well. Denham. Boy, Dorsey is so quick, man. He's mesmerizing when basketball draws the, well, starts to say draws the contact. Put him on the ground, but he's up. Here's a chance to take advantage. Going strong. Not there. Johnson with the rebound. Cards want to run. They get it out to Dorsey. 
pass off, and Cissé with the layup, couldn't finish, but Franklin there. Devin Franklin. It up. Devin Franklin. Franklin does, man, he does all the little things. Hustles on that. You, you think, okay, there's going to not be an opportunity. There's two opportunities for me. Doesn't matter. He's, he's hustling all the way. Gets the bucket on that quick hustle. Five-point lead cards here in the first minute and a half. Ten on the shot clock. That's a nice touch. Yeah, nice job by Marion Wilson of creating space as well, Tim. Yeah, Wilson got just enough room there and delivers with the bucket from the right side of the lane. Shooting over the top, not there, knocked around. Finally controlled by Johnson. He lost it on the floor. Harrison, pass off the shot, not there. And another missed opportunity. Got a timeout here. Oh, a foul actually on Franklin on the four. That's going to be his second. So Devin will pick up the foul. It's a three-point game with inside 18 minutes to go in this one here. Regional 14 action. Cardinals 7-1 and one in conference play, 16-3 and three overall. Three-pointer to tie it. Not there. Goodness gracious, how high can he get? My goodness. Colby Henderson showing off from the heights. And the bucket there will be finished off by Bailey. Yeah, Bailey just would refuse to accept the fact that he couldn't get a shot off there. He said, I'm going to find a way. Good on him. Great effort. So it's a one-point Cardinal lead. 17-20 to go. Johnson drawing up the screen. Dev left side. Can't get it to go. Johnson with the rebound now. A couple of head fakes. Out top. Bynum jukes, shoots. Score the triple. Man, oh, man. Bynum with 19 points. Three three-pointers. 62 the, on the season. The three was nice, but getting clear for the shot was even nicer. And left it short on the putback. Johnson on the push. Here come the Cardinals into the paint. Franklin thought about it now up top to Dorsey. 20 on the shot clock. They'll slow it down now. Going up, frees himself, clears himself, and goes with a left-handed layup. He absolutely switched the ball to his left hand and lay it in, Tim. You're right. Very nicely done. Back to a six-point advantage with 16.30 left in the ball game. Cards trying to go on that run maybe that you talked about a few minutes ago, Benny. Any distance is good distance on the scoreboard. Shot on the way, not good. There. And De Franklin, pulls David it Franklin, in. he's 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 always there, Tim. He's just always there. Yeah, it's, you got to have those guys, and he has been that guy. Pass off underneath, and Johnson out of nowhere, jumping through the roof. Cardinals are cooking now. Grant wanted a timeout, but the official didn't see it. Here is a. Little slowdown of action. 20 on the clock. Now trying to. Oh, he. Great job by Franklin. Gets out of the way. And he's expecting contact. Grant calls the timeout this time at the 1546 mark. And the Cardinals up by 8. 45 37. Yeah, it's a, a traveling Cardinals. We'll have basketball when we come back after this on the Cardinals Sports Network. Would you look at that? That's beautiful. Wow. That's our boy. Get two breakfast sandwiches like a sausage McMuffin with egg or a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit for just $5. was <laughs> Trinity Valley comes out firing on all cylinders. They've uh, got it out to an eight-point lead here in the last couple of moments, Benny. And we'll see if Grant uh, McMillan is as productive coming out of this timeout as he was already in the first half when the Cardinals were threatening to run off and score. And matter of fact, the first time the Cardinals came out of that timeout, they turned the ball over, Navarro came down and scored. So that's what Navarro will be looking for here as well. Yeah, with uh, 15.46 to go, Cards will have knuckles into the ball game. So Trinity Valley... 
We'll uh, look at a full court press here. The man to man picked up three quarter. Step south, a three point shot, not there. I will give you. Makai some credit there. He did check out everything inside before he put up that shot. He was checking any options that he had, and there weren't many at that time. So the barrel had the Cardinals pretty well covered up inside. Yeah, they Cardinals were expecting uh, one of the players to shoot to an empty spot. At least that's what Coach was expecting, uh, and he told one of his players that. Nice job by Ronnie Harrison of getting three down low and putting up the points. So the Bulldogs come out of that timeout and get some productivity. Harrison, the 6'7 freshman out of Shreveport, his fourth point, both baskets here in the second half. In trouble, and with the trap in the corner, they'll skip pass all the way across to Dorsey. Knuckles thought about it, now gets it quickly to Franklin, jump stop, shot, not there. Picked up by Knuckles, Bynum goes to a spot. It's good effort from Dorsey, but could not. I had it, I had the back up. I saw you going, uh, well, I saw you getting ready. You were stepping into a three. And that was a, with a green pin in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if you were going to autograph it before you shot the three <laughs> or what. But a chance for the Bulldogs, though. All kidding aside. Back in it. They are right here. Good movement, Ballman, the easy bucket. Way too easy that time. Four straight out of the timeout for the Bulldogs. They've cut that lead in half, 45-41, 14-20 left in the game. Dorsey gives way underneath. Knuckles to Franklin, 20 on the clock. They'll set it up. Four-point ball game here. It's been a uh, game of runs here in the second half. A foul coming here. I believe they'll get Henderson. We'll wait for it officially. And, yeah, the foul's going to be on uh, Colby. Colby Henderson. That'll be his third foul of the ball game. One apiece on team fouls. So two free throws coming here for Cisse. First one is good. Phil March coming on for Dorsey. That's his first point of the contest. Yeah, he's really had a hard time getting into the uh, the game. Really, I mean, got two quick fouls and it took came, him out of his rhythm. Yeah, and then he had to come back. Well, it took him out of the game. It took it him, out, took of him out of the game, and then when he did come back in the second, late second, uh, latter part of the first half, he comes on, but uh, had to be very guarded, and now he's able to be a little more freer. So six-point ball game at the 14-minute mark here. Cardinals on top, coming to you from. Historic Cardinal Gym on the campus of Athens, of Trinity Valley here in Athens, Texas. Long three, right wing, not there. Long rebound goes to Harrison. Wilson for three. Missed a couple opportunities, but they got a couple of rebounds. Put back is blocked by Cisse. Got him in the air, draws the foul. It's going to be his third, be a shooting foul for the Bulldogs, 47-41. Yeah, that'll be the uh, foul there on Mohamedou Cisse. To Navarro's credit, Tim, they're crashing the boards, and the Cardinals aren't being very aggressive in trying to deny them the ball boards. Exactly. So now we'll see. Checking in momentarily in Bay. Three got six points in the contest. Lorick at the stripe. Barnsley will have seven, but not unless he hits this one. Miss that first. Yeah, and the Bears missed about four free throws thus far in this contest. They came in shooting 72.2% from the free throw line. Stay 22 to 23 on this. Second free throw coming here. Lorick out of Augusta, Georgia. They know anything about golf in Augusta, Georgia? Do they? A I'm, bit. I'm looking to the golf expert here. I thought you. I thought you were looking for me if I had not played golf like that. <laughs> no, I haven't played golf in a while. He <laughs> has in his dreams, but uh, yeah, that is that is golf royalty. Tim, the Cardinals have been out of sync on offense the last three possessions. Need a good one here. Let's see how they attack. Oh, that'll that'll get things going. 
gets the shot off, draws the foul, and puts it through. Ahmed Bynum creating all the way to the bucket. He's heated up today. He's got 21 points with 13 minutes left in the contest. And that's a great move from the 6'3 sophomore. He needed that one there because, like we mentioned, the Cardinals had three poor possessions. Yeah, they, they uh, just put it in his hands that time, let him create. Draws contact, finishing now. Chance for a three-point play. Gets the roll. Great outing for him this afternoon. 22 points, like you said. Still 13 minutes to go in this one. Long way to go. Eight-point Cardinal lead. That's the biggest lead by either team. Thought about taking it with Granberry. Now they'll swing it around left side. And that's a bucket for Horry for Evan Smith. Yeah, the Cardinals just can't give up the three-pointer that easily. Navarro didn't do much really creative passing there. They just found the open open person. Yeah, that, that uh, was a lack of defensive effort that time. Franklin gets it down low. Knocked out way on the off of the big man. And Bay, the last to touch it. Navarro's really making the Cardinals work on the offensive end this second half. They are. They're making them work. Another wide open three. Not there. Knuckles. Oh, a lot of contact. Franklin couldn't control. Embe now. Going to be off of Knuckles. Coach Levinson putting his case over the back. I think he's got a pretty good case there. And Marty Levinson's getting the Makai Dorsey back into the game. The offense has got to settle down and get under control because they haven't been the last two or four looks. Yeah, so let's see how... Uh, Coach McMillan attacks here as they're trailing by five. Whoa, that's easy. <laughs> easy call. Easy call, ab ab absolutely. You cannot let them have the ball <laughs> down there like that. So he did what he had to do, but good night. How did he get that open? Uh, officials typically won't let you hammer either. <laughs> yeah, hammering is, is kind of frowned upon. <laughs> Even in Region 14, it is tough, tough. But uh, that one is kind of draw the, kind of draw the, the whistle. This was a long way from being over, folks. 12-12 left, 50 to 45 Cardinals. Cardinals have led by eight now twice in this second half. But each time the Barrett's chipped away, chipped away, and they get a chance to get even closer here. And a game of runs for sure. A chance to pull within four with a free throw. A couple of free throws here could get them even closer. Five-point game. First one for Antoine Lorink is good. That's his eighth point of the contest. Antoine making a living at the strike. Here's the second of two, and it's not going to get the shot to fall. Five missed free throws now for the Bulldogs in the contest. Those would really add up here. Yeah, they'd be up front if they're hitting. There's a foul called on, that's going to be on Mikey West. Players not are sure what he's complaining about. Yeah, players are getting a little testy here now when the whistle's called against them. Both teams. I don't know if Mikey is saying he grabbed my arm <laughs> and made it look like I was holding him. There was definitely a, a hold out there. Well, he did a good job of it, if that's what happened. Franklin with the ball. March turns, burns. Looking kind of not there. So they'll boy, a lot of body work down low. Now a foul coming. I believe this will be on Lorick. Yeah, it's going to be on Antoine Lorick. Couple of bigs battling in the paint there. His first personal fourth team foul. 11:52. We're at a media timeout. Cardinals up 50 to 46 on the Cardinal Sports Network. Welcome back, Trinity Valley athletes. Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Sports Medicine is here to keep you going at full force. Our commitment to helping athletes perform at their best on and off the field is our core strength. Whether it's orthopedics, performance, or wellness, physician-owned Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine & Joint Hospital is your choice for better health in East Texas. Just like every hard-driving Cardinal, we're focused on excellence every day. 
And welcome back, Cardinal Sports Network. It is a great one going this afternoon in this Highway 31 rivalry between Trinity Valley and Navarro. 50-46 TVCC up four, but long way to go in this one. Long way to go. It, it just it just puts it in perspective here, Tim. Look, Navarro's got 46 points, and their loss to Tyler Winston at home, they only had 48 for the game. So you know Grant Miller's got to feel pretty good about where he's at with 11.52 left in this one. Yeah, they have definitely come out uh, – put more points on the board, a lot more movement on their offense, and, and they've, they've been able to get the be the benefactor of that. They have, and the Navarro defense has played pretty good, pretty solid today, too, as well. So with the Cardinals uh, trying to build on that four-point advantage, they will inbound underneath. It's Dorsey starting it off. They get it out top to well, first they go through a bay. Ten on the shot clock. March for three. Not there. Chance for the Bulldogs. Yeah, Phil had a pretty good look at that. Just did not get the shot to go. Here's the three on the other end. Not there. And they smack to the floor. And that'll be coming on Clayton. That'll be his first personal foul. Fifth team foul. So Franklin checks out into the contest for him. Bayou. Bray Bayou, sophomore of the Netherlands, will come on. March Johnson, Dorsey, Mbe, and Bayou on the floor for Trinity Valley. A lot of motion here. Trinity Valley has shot on the way for three. Not there. Nothing but Bulldogs there for the rebound. There were four say, Bulldogs under the go. I was going to say a lot of red and black underneath there. Trinity Valley and the Grays today. That's too easy. It's a two-point game inside 11 minutes to go. Granberry with his first points of the contest. Bay, strong move up and under. Got it done. Big fella. Double flex there, not just one arm. Shows <laughs> shows a couple of pipes. He now has six in the game. Johnson defending. Clayton shot over the top is good. Trey Clayton with the bucket. Yeah, nice step back jumper there. Two point contest here. Dorsey to March. Hill directing traffic. Well, try to force that. And that is not a great foul. Just kind of gets a tripping call here. Yeah, poor decision there on yeah. the Cardinals' part out front. He forced, forced that one in, the double coverage. 10-10 to go here in the second half, and that's the fourth foul of the ball game on Mbe. He's still on the floor as of right now. Look at it there as uh, Mbe off the ground. It's good. They had a sandwich of Mbe there, and they still forced the pass. Knocked out of bounds. Denim Johnson with the quick hands. That whistle there, that was very close to Mbe picking up number five. It, it was, but great job by Denim Johnson of reading the play and getting a piece of the ball and keeping the bear from scoring. I think we're going to see a lot of that in the paint on the next few possessions as long as he's in the contest. We'll see. And if not, why not? <laughs> it's three. Well, that's why not. You got a three to take the lead. Navarro's fifth three-pointer on the game gives him a 53-52 lead at the 946 mark. Great shot there for the Bulldogs. Back up by one. Bay with a screen. Get him. Bayou for three. Missed it all. You gotta be careful right down here. They're mixing it up. And well, that's smart to try to get the big man into a little conflict. You sense that the Cardinals sense that they're struggling offensively now because they're starting to put up some shots that we ordinarily don't see that quickly on the shot clock. Yeah, that's a good point. And uh, Dorsey checks back into the contest and we'll see how how they approach offensively here on their next possession. It's Region 14, folks. You got to win at home and get what you can on the road. And Navarro's trying to do just that today. Yeah, they are. They played well. Good attack. 
Good close out for Bay. It looked like he had an advantage. A lot of contact. Shot. Shot. Side out, out over on the left side. Five team fouls now for both teams. 9.06 to go here. It's a one point Bulldog lead over the Cardinals. Trinity Valley had got to put a little separation there, but uh, to Coach McMillan and his squad's credit, they come roaring back. Oh, no doubt about it. It was 50 to 46 at the 11.32 mark. Long way to go in this one. Nine minutes left. Still 10 on the shot clock. Dorsey working defensively. Three from the right wing. Not there. Rebound pulled down by Bynum. He'll bring it up the floor. Shelling by one. Working to the right side. Double team there. Johnson jump stop. Hands it off. Dorsey bucket. Johnson with the assist. Dorsey with the basket. Nice job by Denham of knowing exactly where on the floor Makai Dorsey was going to be. Hits him with the pass perfectly. Trinity Valley back up by one. Oh, and out of bounds. Just lost possession. And he's standing out of bounds when the ball landed on him. Randy Miller's asking, what about the contact I saw? They're going to continue to go after the big fella here. Yeah, He's no got doubt. four. And I thought we might be seeing a whistle or seeing, hearing a whistle. We did hear it, but not the result that the Bulldogs were looking for. About to check in momentarily. Cissé back into the contest. And Bay goes strong. Left hand is good. The big man putting it up and under. Eight points in the game now from Mbe. Could have very well been at the free throw line himself there. Looked like a lot of contact. That was a big time power move inside the paint though. Indeed. Long three. Uncontested. Not there. Franklin hustling and not getting it. Speaking of hustling, how about the hustle by Trey Clayton for the Bulldogs? Great effort there from Trey Clayton. 16 foul against the Bulldogs. I think we're going to have a timeout here momentarily. Yeah, it will be a timeout here at the break of action. It's a one-point ball game. Going to be a 30-second timeout. We'll keep it right here and talk this one over, Denny. Yeah, the Cardinals will be on the road uh, Wednesday night going to Kilgore for a 7 p.m. start at Masters Gymnasium, while the Lady Cardinals will be home here at Cardinal Gym in a 5.30 start against Kilgore. We'll have that for you here on the Cardinal Sports Network. The Cardinals' next home game will be uh, let's see real quickly. Uh, at home next Saturday against Bozier Parish in the game we'll again, again have for you here on the Cardinal Sports Network. But back to this one, Tim. If you're the Cardinals, you want that surge. You've got to find that surge. But they've got to clean things up offensively because this has been a little untidy here in this second, last five or six minutes. Yeah, I agree with you. They, they kind of got out of uh, what, what had gotten them that lead. Um, but as you see the replay on the screen, that's good things are happening when they get it down quickly and get the Bulldogs kind of off off of their uh, perimeter defense. If you can get it down low in the paint, like there's Mbe going strong. Good things have been happening. They've got to kind of get back to that, if you will. And I will. I don't blame you. That's <laughs> working. Make it happen. So a one-point game with 7.40 to go. Uh, on the floor for the cards, it's going to be Dorsey, Johnson, Franklin, Bynum, and um, Mbe back into the contest. So see how they uh, how they go at it here. Working through Dorsey up top. Get it to the big fella. Feeding him down on the low post. He'll finish. He's working extra hard there. And that'll... Give him 10 points. He got 10 points, and he did a great job of getting position and creating space down low without fouling. Indeed. Yeah, doing it with uh, four fouls. Dorsey, quick, man. Look like he goes for the steal. Okay, he's out of position. Spin. He's there, too. Got a lot of bump bumping going on out there. Way off the mark, and last touched by Unde. Yeah, it's going to go off the Cardinals from Navarro. We'll have nine seconds to negotiate on the shot clock. Three point advantage, Trinity Valley. Five team fouls, left it short, picked up by Bynum. Out front to Dorsey, splits a defender, shoots, not there, but Johnson is. He'll put it up and in. And Johnson cleaning up, Tim. Gets it done. 
Five, Denver, Denver four, with 10 points now. Five-point lead, Cardinals. Uh, boy, it's happening in a hurry, too. Back-to-back -back possessions. Keep stringing those together, and good things are coming. Keep playing defense. Now, that's that's been the key. They've gotten quick points off of a rebound and a long outlet. Shot over and good. Nice touch from Harrison. Yeah, Harrison did a good job there. He came into the contest averaging 15.1 points a game. That had led to the Bulldogs. He's got six in this one. They held him scoreless in the first half. That's been, they have found him in the second half, though. He's got six down low. And they got to kick it back Denham, out. Miss Denham underneath. Saw him too late. Smart to let it go back up top when it's not there. Don't force yeah, it. Yeah, saw Denham Johnson open in the corner. He was wide open for a three. Just couldn't get him the ball in time. So with six minutes even, it is a three-point lead for Trinity Valley. Johnson to inbound. Two on the shot clock. Not going to get it away. That's a great defense from Navarro there. They, Navarro needed that at that time, Tim. They uh, came out strong and defended all the way through. Navarro has had some good sets defensively in this second half, I feel like. Yeah, they have. They've uh, had some really good moments. Cissé coming back in. He'll come on for Mbe. Nice job of the big guy playing with four fouls. Yeah, and as he checks in, he's now got three fouls, so he's uh, done well. Three-pointer from the right side off the glass. He banked it. We're tied at 534, 60-60. Franklin's face on the turnaround said it all. He's like, man, that was good closeout defense, and a bank off the shot goes in. A lot of contact in the paint, late whistle. With the 17 foul against the uh, Bulldogs, the Cardinals will go to the line for the one and one. So Cissé stepping to the stripe. Two fouls now on Ronnie Harrison. One of his... Uh, Things to work on has been at the free throw line. Right around a 50% free throw shooter. Let's we'll see how he does. Has two today from the line. So if we can keep building on that. That's looking good. See which team blinks first, Tim. Yeah, he's he's definitely shooting with a lot more confidence at the free throw stripe. One point lead. Trinity Valley trying to add to it here. Two for two. So back to a two-point lead, Trinity Valley. As we are closing in on that five-minute mark and uh, 5.16 to go, timeout on the floor. So with a break in the action, we will step away. It's a full timeout here on the Cardinals Sports Network. A quality, affordable education is not out of reach. In fact, it's closer and more convenient than you might think. Trinity Valley Community College, with locations in Athens, Palestine, Terrell, and Kaufman, offers day and evening courses, online courses, and provides dual credit classes for high school students. TVCC is also home to several national championship sports programs. Sports Network in its 15th year. Glad to have you along for the broadcast today. Trinity Valley up two over Navarro. I'm Tim. Benny, your thoughts? The game playing at the pace we thought it would play at and in the, the tightness of the contest. And both teams were playing. We said in the start of the game, the teams had to defend, defend, defend. And we've seen some pretty good defense today. Yeah, we have. And we've seen some great uh, ball movement. Got some good opportunities. You're seeing uh, cards getting in the paint. When they do that, good things are happening. Mbay's had a strong performance. He's out right now with those four fouls, but uh, they go back in with Cissé, and we'll see how things continue. Navarro jumped out to a 5-0 lead to start the game. The Cardinals were up at the half, at the half 34 to 31, and we are now at 62-60. We're coming up on the five-minute mark. Yeah, it's a, a last last five minutes. Who's going to blink first? You said it. We'll see. It's been a good one this afternoon. Driving all the way to the basket, though. Not there, and then they miss. 
Rebound and a three on the way, not there. Franklin had a shot at it. Johnson finally gathers it. Wow, what the athleticism on the floor. Man, both these squads showing high levels of uh, goodness out there with inside five to go. It's a two-point lead for Trinity Valley. Franklin trying to see somebody move. Not a lot of ball movement there for the Cardinals. Dorsey. Five on the shot clock. In the paint, shoots, draws the foul. That was uh, taking it down to the wire. <laughs> kind of got bailed out before Dorsey says, let me create something here. Because, again, we saw just a couple of moments ago, Navarro was able to get a stop with uh, good defense. They were playing nose-to-nose -nose there. They really were. Mikhail will go to the free throw line, having hit eight points in the contest. He's averaging 11.9 on the season. So let's see what he does here. Cardinals, are, as a team, are shooting 66.3 from the free throw line on the season. Everything counts from this point forward, Tim. It's that one to go. Yeah, as you uh, look in the bonus here. Cardinals so. trying to protect the number nine national ranking on their home floor. Looking at the... Uh, the wardrobes of both during this the foul was so hard it knocked my shirt right out of my shorts. Yeah, I just got to get those shirt tails tucked in. Yeah, I got to look, gotta look presentable, I guess. 64-40 after the two free throws from Dorsey. So the Cards tried to keep the defense working here. Cardinals now have four players in double digits. Every position matters from this point forward. Yeah, you gotta you gotta work hard on the defensive side of the ball. Felt the double team coming. Oh, oh got my goodness, that's a walk for sure. Yeah, that, that was Bailey got a little uh, lost. Every, every time he twisted, he got closer to the goal. Yeah, it was the old moving pivot foot, <laughs> backing my way down, closer and closer. Four minutes left. It's a four-point lead for the Valley here. Big possession for the Cardinals. Yeah, they they can really. String together some more of those offensive hits. Bynum drawing the attention now kicks off to Johnson. He was triple teamed at one point. I was going to say, they they talked about it at halftime. Like, you guys got 17. Nice pass underneath. He say puts it through. Well, Makai Dorsey. Dorsey had the vision. Dorsey had the touch. He say had the touch. Got a foul out. Not a bad foul, though. It's just a 16 foul against the Cardinals, so to beat the Navarro's ball. Timeout coming here with a six-point advantage for Trinity Valley. 3.29 to go when we come back here on the Cardinal Sports Network. When joints begin to fail, it's more than an inconvenience. The relentless grinding pain slows you down and can even stop you from doing the things you enjoy in life. At UT Health East Texas, our skilled orthopedic and sports medicine experts are using advanced joint technologies to get you back to being you sooner with a less painful recovery. We're doing more than restoring joints. We're restoring lives. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. Welcome back, Cardinal Sports Network here with a good one going this afternoon. Region 14 action. It's Trinity Valley over in the barrel by six. And Tim, the Bears have been very good coming out of the timeout today after the Cardinals will build a six to eight point lead. Every time this each time it's happened. Navarro's come back and scored at least four points in a row before the Cardinals would score again. So let's just see if that plays out here. And the Navarro certainly needs it to as we reach the 329 mark. Yeah, they have been uh, very efficient out of those timeouts. We'll see how the Cardinals attack. It's going to be Cisse on the inbound on the ball. Oh, you can't leave him uncovered. Three-pointer rattles out. Dorsey's still slow to get up. Ball is going to be last touched by the Bulldogs. Cardinal possession here. Dorsey's Big defensive stand by the Cardinals. Long time on the floor. A little bit discrepancy between the officials. Cardinals will have 
possession. Cardinals will have possession. But a timeout was called. The official actually said, do you really want the timeout? After the, because, you know, sometimes when the ball's like that, there's a scram for the ball. Let's keep it here and talk about this. Uh, we just come out of the last timeout here. What, what are your thoughts here with 314 to go? The Cardinals need to come down. They obviously can't put the ball on the deep because they're only two scores, two scores up. So they need to come down and be very deliberate and work for the best shot they can get and not try to force something up because the shot clock's running down in three or four seconds left. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to give away, uh, get too far into that position and not have time to work. Yeah, you can't run out the clock, so you want to get the best shot you get the first chance you get, but you don't want to go down and just force up the first thing you are open either. Exactly. So Trinity Valley up by six with uh, just three minutes, 14 seconds to go. We, we talk about those final five minutes, final three minutes all the time going into a to a half, starting the ball game. Also, keep in mind, Cardinals in the bonus here with uh, with the uh, 16 pounds. Yeah, both teams have been both shooting the rest of the, 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 You're the, rest right. of the way. Two free throws, or two timeouts left for each team as well. Marshall bring it up the floor. Better get it across. Better get it across. And that's a hurry, does just get it across. Had one second to spare. So Denham setting it up. Interesting lineup on the floor. Franklin still nine on the clock. Lost it. They're going to have to hurry. Five on the clock. Johnson driving. Shooting. Scoring. Wow. Denham not, Johnson, folks. Not exactly how you drew it up, but Denham Johnson says, hey, I'm going to get to the basket. And that's making the most of the shot clock there. They used every second of it. 6-1. Man, he looked like he was 6-10 with his height, <laughs> with his bounce and his step there. The, 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 the fight he can take off of. My goodness. Now, Denham Johnson, just a complete player there. Big basket there. Up to an eight-point game. You got to stop here, man. Things are really starting to go in your favor. Defend the three. Defend the three for sure. Three pointer on the way. It is good. Six three pointers for the Bulldogs. Yeah, it's Bailey, and he uh, let Johnson know about it as he showed him that was a three. You can't give him a look. You cannot give him a look. Five point game. Two fifteen to go. Franklin setting the screen. Going the other way as Phil March got it trapped on his hip. Then the ball is going to be picked up. Comes the Bulldogs. Defend the three. Two minutes to go. It's a five-point game. Working the baseline. Still plenty of time. 20 on the shot clock. Bulldogs don't have to be in a hurry here. They need a good look. Three-pointer from the wing. Not there. Picked up by Cisse. Now you burn some clock. Approaching 90 seconds to go in the game. Find him all the way. Got it trapped on his right hip, but he was fouled. So going to the free throw line for the one and one. It's a good foul on the barrels part. Yeah, it looked like he's going to have a chance to get a layup. So they make him earn it at the line. Free throws are crucial here, and, and the mods goes to the free throw line with uh, 22 points as the scoring leader in the game. See how they uh, go here. Got to win at home and get what you can on the road. Maude gets the first and one and one. 23 in the game now for Ahmad, the transfer from DePaul University. So Harrison sits for the Bulldogs in for him. It's going to be Clayton. Cardinals will be on the road Wednesday going to Kilgore for a 7 p.m. start. Be at home here next Saturday against Bowser Parish at 4 p.m. Two for two at strike. So great job there from Ahmad Bynum with 24 points in the game. Nice. Who to get to the basket. Foul coming here. That's going to be on Cisa. He's now got four. So not much wiggle room there with the bigs. Oh, they're not. But with 122 left, unless you're looking at an overtime game, you probably get away with it at this point. Yeah, you, you're going to make Lorick earn it up the line. You can't give him the easy bucket. It's a shooting foul, too. So it'll be two shots uh, opportunity for number 11, Antoine Lorick. Missed it. Well, Navarro has struggled from the free throw line today, folks. They've missed six already. And the uh, Cardinal Cheer Squad's going to take credit for that one. <laughs> they got the miss it, miss it going. 
I think they've had it going on every free throw, to be honest. So they may take credit for six. That was a big miss, though. He what does a, make it a two-score game, though, with the second free throw, 70-64 to at the 122 mark. So the Cardinals will have to break the press here and get it to Dorsey. And Cardinals will clear out, let him work across the timeline. That's so with five seconds still to go. So not much to worry about with the press there. Going strong to the basket. Count the basket. It's good. And the foul. Makai Dorsey. Dorsey. Made up his mind, got around the defender, and saw the lane opened up. So he goes strong to the basket now, a chance for a three-point play. Carter's doing a great job of what, looking looking to close out this game, Kim. They're very, very, very patient right now and very, very confident. Love Dorsey's uh, look and focus there. He saw him defending him, and he saw the crease, made the most of it, and delivers at the strike. It's a three-point play. Carter's but, looking to be Navarro for the 18th time in the last 21 meetings. Man, it's some kind of run when you stop and consider. Now well, that's been, there's going to be a backcourt violation. Great Fear. job of the Cardinal defense. Cardinal defense, they felt that coming. And uh, put, the, put the screws in defensively, tightened them up. They're on the verge of losing for a fifth straight time if they don't close to turn this thing around pretty quick. This has been a battle all the way through. And now the Trinity Valley pulling away down the stretch. Dorsey to inbound. Finds Cisse. Now it's Mackay with the ball. He'll get the foul. He will go to the free throw line to shoot two. He's going to be looking at two here as Cardinals are in that double bonus. And that's a fifth foul. The nine point lead is their biggest lead of the contest. But Mikey West is fouled out of the ball game here. With five points, he has five fouls to show for it too. Yeah, yeah, good good math. <laughs> In my head, I was doing the math. <laughs> Big free throws here for Dorsey. He's got 13 points in the game. 73-64, Trinity Valley. You got a D up out, outside the, the three-point arc when you go back down into the Cardinals. Oops, kept a little short on that one. Yeah, that's still a three-possession game. You hit this one, you're forcing it to a four-possession game. Navarro's going to call a full timeout if he makes the free throw. There's one of two in a timeout taken by Coach Grant McMillan as Trinity Valley is up 74-64 here. Up 10. We'll finish it out. Let's keep it right here. Yeah, the biggest, biggest lead by the Cardinals or by either team, but certainly by the Cardinals in this contest, Tim. And what a time for it to come out with just under a minute left in the contest. Cardinals trying to go to 17-3 overall, stay at 8-1 and in the top the north zone of the Region 14 Conference. What, is, uh, what has been the key for, this, for them to pull away down the stretch here? I think keeping their poise. Every time they got a little surge, the bear would have an answer, and the, but the Cardinals would just wouldn't panic and just stayed with it and were able to build it before you turn around and look, a 10-point lead. Yeah, possession by possession and uh, little by little, slow and steady wins that race. A chance to see one of the big reasons how they've been able to get the ball down low. Cardinals will be on the road Wednesday night going to Kilgore for a 7 p.m. tip-off, and we'll have the women's game for you here at Cardinal Gym at 5.30 p.m. on the Cardinal Sports Network. Looking forward to that one as well. So 10-point ball game, under a minute to go here. Cardinals trying to close it out at Cardinal Gym. Like you talked about a while ago, defend the three-point perimeter. A, a layup bucket doesn't hurt you. Of course, oh. they lost possession. They'll never get a shot. Oh. Yeah, and the Bears become his own worst enemy. They turned the ball over on his previous trip and then turned it over on this trip. So the Cards will now probably see a foul coming here. They will. Clayton be whistled, and Franklin's going to the stripe for two. Yeah, it's desperation time now for the Bulldogs. So you got to try and create possessions here. Knocked down a couple of these, and now you're looking at a 12-point ball game. I tell you what, hats off to both teams all the way they've conducted themselves today, Tim. Even though it's a heated robbery, nothing's ever got out of control, never even come close to getting out of control, and you got to applaud both teams for that. Yeah, playing with a lot of uh, poison, discipline, and dignity. So Cardinals at the stripe, it will be Devin Franklin. He's got four points in the contest. Make that five for the big fella, 6'8", sophomore out of Terrell, Texas. Forney, Texas. Hey, 
Got it up and good. It certainly looked like it was a blowout, but it was anything but that, folks. Yeah, absolutely. It's been a, a, a fun one to call here. As that ball gets away. Bynum will pick it up, two on one. It's a finger roll, and it's good. That's the exclamation point now in a 26-point performance for Ahmad Bynum. Boy, what a what a game for him. 26 flashing on the board. They needed those in a big way. Here's a three. Not there. March. Dribble out time for the Cardinals. Yeah, they'll be able to dribble this one out. They will uh, be looking at their 17th win of the season. This will take them to 8-1 in Region 14 action. And winning for an 18th time in the last 21 meetings against Navarro. Wow. That is the exclamation point of points. Trinity Valley getting it done at home. Congratulations to Coach Marty Levinson and his squad. They get a, a big win at home here at Region 14. Cardinals were led today by Ahmad Dynam with 26 points. He had three three-pointers. He now has 61 on the season. Makai Dorsey had 14. Denham Johnson had 12. Denham had a really nice game. Uh, Muhammad Bay had 10 points. He had a really solid game. And I'll tell you what, though, Devin Franklin only had six points, but Devin Franklin did a lot of big little things that added up to being a big win for the Cardinals at home today. Huge, huge play and a, a good team win overall. And again, 8 and 1 now in conference play. Navarro falls to 11 and 9 on the season, 4 and 6 in conference play. Bulldogs will bounce back, no doubt. They've got to do something to shake this five-game losing streak they're on. But the Cardinals will be on the road Wednesday night against Kilgore, 7 p.m., and be home here again next Saturday in a 4 p.m. start against Bozier Paris. And a game we'll have for you here on the Cardinal Sports Network. Folks, we hope you enjoyed this production of Cardinal Basketball by the Cardinal Sports Network. Until next Wednesday night when the Lady Cardinals take on Kilgore at 5.30 p.m. For Tim Howard and the entire Cardinal Sports Network team, this is Benny Rogers. Benny, good afternoon from Leon's Mission Court at Historic Cardinal Gym.